Yo everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite. So I'm always ranting and raving about Rennie, how she's so great. And today she is going to help me tackle the level 65 Eternal Temple. Or at least we're going to try. This is a pretty tough fight. I would say some of this is RNG based because you just, you got to make sure to get the right debuffs on this guy. And that's a little bit luck based, so he doesn't just one shot you right off rip. Uh, and hopefully, clock will proc. That's important here, too, especially with Rennie Annihilation. I can honestly say right now, if it wasn't for my Rennie, I don't really think I'd have much of a chance here. And what I used to do uh, in Rennie's place, I would have Altimuller fly down and throw a debuff, but this works a lot better. <clears throat> so, we're going to get our man Bernie over here. As long as Bernie's within two blocks, he gets debuffed pretty well. Let's throw our danger zone up. Basel confusion buff. That way Bernie has an extra turn of fusion because he already went. Just in case, this is one of those battles that can't really draw out too long it's only a six turn fight so you got to kill it quick here goes Rennie with Rennie uh, calamity throw and we're hoping <laughs> we're hoping for attack breaks damage breaks I don't think we got any of them unfortunately uh, he might just wipe us out right now that's just the way she goes with this guy you might have to restart this fight. Luckily, you only have to beat the level 65 encounter one time. Then the boss becomes much easier. After you get the goddess's blessing, this boss does not get to... Um, he doesn't get to bind you with that spell that he does where if you heal, you take damage. So another important thing here is Lana has to have this passive magic break it's highly recommended because you want to keep this guy magic broken so you have any chance of doing any real uh, damage to him but what's cool here with Rennie and this is why she's uber important for this fight and why she shines is because with Rennie Annihilation yeah his magic defense is going to be zero as long as he has three debuffs on him but the most important thing is he can't retaliate he cannot retaliate to Rennie, and we're about to see that right now. So, this guy has attack and damage taken plus 20% and Lord's Will. <clears throat> so, first thing I'm going to want to do is make sure that he has that, that magic break on him. And I just need you to hang in there a little bit. And this is a good example of how if clock procs, it can make it can make or break the game. And actually no. Boz is gonna throw a fireball. And right now if Rennie attacks this guy, she would die. She has the curse on her. But if she uses Rennie Annihilation when this guy has three debuffs on him. He shouldn't be able to retaliate. And she just did as much damage as Lana. And Lana is much more uh, powerful than her as far as power goes. This Rennie's not even 5k yet. Um, looking at my healing. I think it's about time to spam one of these. You gotta be really careful about healing on this map because it'll bite you in the ass. In fact, I'm thinking, yeah, if I don't do this, nobody's gonna survive anyway. So, turn two, turn three, gets pretty damn risky. I just sacrificed my healer. She would have been nice to have for act again. Bernie's gonna try to apply some fixed damage. And see, now that I have one less character, <clears throat> that's one less character for him to apply um, that curse on unfortunately so there's a higher chance of my actual mages that I need to have that curse on them but again if that curse goes on Rennie 
everything's gravy because we need to get Lana out of there. Yeah, as long as the curse goes on running, it's okay. Because if this guy has multiple debuffs on him, Rennie can still attack without being retaliated against. And that's exactly what she's going to try to do with Rennie Annihilation. She's got 150 hit points. <laughs> Ooh, it's, oh, that's right. The healing killed her. The healing killed her. She would have been dead without that healing anyway, though. Lana, what about you? You just need to get out of the danger zone. And you, maybe you'll survive. Ah. And this is pretty much what this fight comes down to. It's like nitty gritty and it comes right down to the end, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're going to make it. Uh... This is just pretty much the way she goes. Like I said, it's RNG based. I don't know if I can do 14k worth of damage to him. I can try. This is going to be a close one, everybody. So there's three. What about you, Basil? I mean, it's kind of pointless for you to just stand there because, uh, yeah. You'll just get annihilated anyway, because at this point, anybody would just get cursed. So there we go. We cleared it. I could not have done this without Rennie. That's how big of a key player she is. Uh, this is cool. Just got the level 65 clear. So everybody out there, challenge yourself today. Go try to do some level that you haven't done yet. Unlock something. Uh, you just might have a bunch of luck with it. RNG was with me. This was a great clear. So now I can go back and farm this all I want. Feathers. I've been wanting feathers. So, guys, challenge yourself today. And have an awesome day. Peace, everybody.